Wouldn't you like to escape? Wouldn't you like to go off into an interesting dreamscape fairyland and just be there forever and ever and ever and just feel warmth and beauty and truth every single minute of every single day? Yeah, that's art. Anybody that I meet, when I tell them I'm an artist or that I draw for a living, they say, oh, yeah, I used to draw. And there could be so many factors influencing the fact that a lot of people don't have creativity in their lives uh, daily or even weekly by the time they reach being adult. And I understand as people grow up, they have to prioritize and put certain things in front of the others or uh, they've just developed their own sense of what is important to them and that's fine. It's just as we get older it's very easy to lose that initial spark of wanting to make something or understanding the connection of how making something directly affects us internally and as a result will help us deal with the external world that we live in daily. So in this video I'm going to talk about the little things that you can do to help encourage a young artist. First things first, if somebody comes to you and wants to show you something, like a picture they drew or something they painted, tell them it's good. No, really, it seems to be very difficult for people to say this to others. But no matter what your age, when you try something new, it's always scary and you're always going to be your worst critic. So what is really important is you guys, the people who are around those who are trying new things, to be incredibly emotionally supportive. Sometimes people don't know what to say because they never did it themselves, so they don't really know how to react, or they don't understand how much it actually means to the other person coming to you and really what they're asking for is validation. Like, like am I okay? Should I keep doing this? Uh, show and tell like this is not random. Uh, by nature, we want other people to be able con to connect to us. And art is one of the biggest ways in which you can communicate and reach so many people all at once without saying anything. It doesn't matter if you're young or old, if you're starting out as an artist, drawing whatever you want to draw or painting whatever you want to paint, you want to show it to others. And it can be really, really scary because you're in your own private world and you have this sort of sanctuary within yourself while you're doing your work. Then comes the big time of, oh, I want to show this to people. I want to see what they think. And that can be really terrifying. It's t it's still terrifying even if you've been doing it for 15 years. So if someone takes you aside, whether you're a parent or a sibling or even a friend, and they want to share something they worked on with you, and they haven't really sort of said to themselves or the world even if that's something that they want to continue to work with, you need to recognize that this is a really potent moment probably in their lives and that they're taking this moment of extreme vulnerability and they're sharing it with you. It's a very vulnerable position to be in as a creator to ask others uh, to essentially judge us and judge our work and see if it's good and in translation if we're good. I've just met so many people who were deterred early on from following any kind of creative pursuit in their life, even if it was just sort of hobby painting on the weekend, because someone somewhere in their life told them they couldn't do it, or they weren't good, or they just shouldn't bother. This is so dangerous. You can't do that. When somebody tells you you can't do something, it means I can't do what you're trying to do. But for a young artist, it's really hard not to take it personally or as a comment on themselves and their efforts. And so, of course, the more resistance they have right in the beginning, the more they're just likely to give up quicker. And in the beginning, it's just so easy, 
even if you don't understand what they're doing or you would never do it yourself, it's so easy to retract indifference or negativity and just say, oh wow, that's so cool. It's so easy. Oh wow, that's so cool. You don't have to be specific unless you want to. You don't have to barrage them with questions about how is this really a reasonable choice for you? Like, should you even be doing it? It's like you're seven years old. Like, yes, yes, you should be doing this. You should be doing it when you're seven, 17, 70, like all the time. So when you're dealing with a young artist and they want to show you something, let's say you've gotten to the point where now they see you as a confidant or somebody that they trust that they can share themselves and their work with. Don't start haranguing them about how it's not going to work and everybody who's an artist is a failure and they're broke and depressed and they all cut their ears off and send them to their ex-girlfriends. I'm not saying we're not depressed. I'm not saying that we're not broke. But we all are on a spectrum and every artist falls in a different place along it. We all just want to stay lost in our little world and then share our little worlds with everybody else and fellow artists and then just like bounce along everybody's individual world and be lost in essentially what people can view as like a fantasy land. And it's really, really fun to live there constantly, every single day. If anybody's going to be aware of reality or realities, it's going to be artists. So telling them that they have to deal with reality or that it's not realistic for them to be spending their time doing any of this stuff is a really bad move. And not only that, it makes you look like a closed-minded jerk. So try not to frame somebody's creative pursuits as escapism because that's not really what's going on. And even if it were what was happening, so what? Wouldn't you like to escape? Wouldn't you like to go off into an interesting dreamscape fairyland and just be there forever and ever and ever and just feel warmth and beauty and truth every single minute of every single day? Yeah, that's art. Never tell them to grow up. This is not an issue of having to grow up. Like, there's a time to play and then there's a time to grow up or... No. No, there isn't. This concept of playing when you're a kid and then just at, I don't know when, what age it is, 18, 19, 20, 21, maybe even earlier, you just get chopped off and playing stops and then you have to be real. It's like, no, this is like bonkers. This doesn't make sense. Maybe this is why people are so angry and pissed off all the time. Oftentimes art is just a scream for, not for attention, but for somebody to take notice of the deeper issues that are swirling within ourselves. Art is the act of reaching out and connecting to other people. Even though artists are painted as people who are inherently selfish and self-absorbed and only care about themselves. In reality, if we're going to talk about realities, it's really the opposite. We want to speak to so many people all the time with what we do. We're constantly seeking connection and we're constantly seeking a deeper understanding of ourselves and our relation to the world. And one of the more obvious ways that you can support a young artist is to buy them stuff. I'm not saying like break the bank and be, a, be their patron forever and ever, although, you know, that's pretty nice. The act of buying, it's a gesture. It's a gesture of faith, of belief and trust that what this person is doing is good, is right, and is encouraged and respected by those around them. It's so incredibly important to be supportive of those around you no matter what you do, but specifically in the arts where it is such a hard game to roll with and it is a very difficult life. The artistic spirit across the board, across all artists at all different stages, we are always the worst on ourselves than anybody else's upon us. And so to have people around us that acknowledge how important art, no matter how small of a part it plays in our lives, is incredibly important. These were just my thoughts of a life that I've lived so far. 
So if you have any thoughts about how you should encourage a young artist, or if you've done it yourself, or feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear it. And I'll see you next time.